recap, Abarakis Precipice, Moloch's Gambit, The Expanse role-playing game, Episode 3, Into the Black. The crew of the Sinclair meets with Fred Johnson and Dingo on Tycho Station. Along with them is Ted Wynn, Dingo's personal assistant. Fred explains that the timetable to get the behemoth ready has moved up and will be fixed up as it heads for the ring. Fred tasks Dingo to lead the Sinclair on a mission to track Sebastian Pope near the ring gate. Their covers provide security operations for the OPA Navy flotilla at the ring, while Carlos Bull Dabaca does so on the behemoth. Dingo makes a decision to do a steady burn out to the ring, not giving them too much time to look for Pope prior to the arrival of the behemoth. Dingo confides in the Captain Cooper and Exo Thompson that he is nervous about heading so far out to the black, as he is used to being behind a desk. Zenny calls Yan on the behemoth. Yan is in high spirits about being under the command of Captain Ashford. Dingo shows off a bottle of tequila from Earth to drink when the mission is accomplished and everyone comes home. The trip is uneventful, and with a few days before the behemoth's arrival, the Sinclair takes a swoop behind the ring. In doing so, they pick up some signals bouncing off the ring and think they may be scans from Pope's ship, the Cryobrand. Dingo and the crew debate ways to bait Pope from his observational position past the ring. Tedwin expresses some concerns over the nature of the ring, as do many of the crew. This results in a ship-wide betting pool over what is on the other side of the ring. Doing another swoop behind the ring results in a high-precision scan with a high probability of knowing the location of the cryobrand. The arrival of the OPA Navy, UNNN, and MCRN flotilla are accompanied by the Rocinante. Dingo worries about the potential spectacle that James Holden may cause. Dingo receives a report from Bull that he has executed someone on the behemoth for manufacturing and distributing pixie dust that was causing workers to be unsafe. This is unsettling the crew and Dingo. Wyatt decides to offer amnesty to anyone that has pixie dust on the Sinclair. Waxer speaks to Justine and Mikhail about their respective stashes. They give up most of their doses, and Waxer turns it over to Wyatt on the condition that he not ask where it came from. While scanning the ring and posturing by the respective navies, a sudden explosion rips the UNN support ship, the Sing Un. Abarax's Precipice airs live Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on twitch.tv slash onlyplaywood.